Hello, and uh, welcome back to my Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn, Frozen Wilds, part, let's see, seven, part seven. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of uh, outside of that place I was, because I kind of, you know, I just couldn't be bothered trying to figure it out. I want to get another video done today, at least. Um, and that would take god knows how many hours. It could take hours, literally, because it is that hard, that puzzle that I stopped the last video on. It just is ridiculously hard. Ridiculously hard. Um, only for brainy people, really, um, quite frankly. Um, and, yeah, I just... I'll come around to it sometime. But once I do come around to it again, I will, uh, I'll, you know... I'm not going to get any recording of me trying to figure it out. I'll, I'll come back to you once I've figured it out. But right now, let's go on to the next mission here and get some gaming done here because uh, you know I can't be ours. I can't be doing it. It's just it's just too strong for my kind of brain. That kind of puzzle. It really is. It's just does my head in that kind of puzzle. It really is. It just looks too hard for me and. Um, I'm not a P. I'm not a PhD in mathematics, and God knows what. You know, that's just way beyond me. I'm afraid, um, and that I'm afraid is what they've made it out for. People like that who have big, big brains. I'm sorry, but that's the way I, I feel about it. It's just too hard for 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 you know people like me who are just not that brainy. Um, I might figure it out eventually, but I don't know. I'm just going to do what I can of the game, and that's the rest of the levels. Hopefully I can get an another one after this one I'm going to do here. You know. Because um, it's just, you know, it's just too hard for me, I'm afraid, right now. Um, I'll come back to it some other time when I maybe can't do anything else. You know, but, um... Let's concentrate on this errand I've got to do here. Find real part. Um, so, this is the nearest I can get to it. That's why I kind of came out of the, that room and to here, because it is the nearest I can get to it. So I've got to um, walk up there. I don't know how it, I'm going to be able to get down here. I'll probably, um, hmm, I might have to get down to one of these other quick saves. I, I don't know the way. <laughs> I don't know the way back down, so I'll just go here. Let's walk up to it then. It's probably not that big a walk. It looks like a huge walk. But this map, remember, is not as big as, or anything like as big as, um, oh. This is this bit where I did the, the waterlogged uh, DLC. Not DLC, but quest. Eh, is there not another way up past the, uh, Hmm, big wall. Problematic here. How do you get past this big... 
wall thing. There must be a way. Come on. I'm doing that mission It'll make no difference to the way to get to this one, so you gotta be able to get up here, past it. There you go. Control tower. Uh, where is it? Don't see it. I'll tuck that away. Here, what's this purple area here? Well, that's the control tower thing, yeah. Uh, just carry on past it. Oh boy. bother with that one is to get on my way. Ah, override it. Critical hit can only do it. Badger. First badger I've seen, I think. Come on. Oh, come on, how am I missing it? Where the hell is it going? Uh, right. There's one there. Is that? Come on. Mark it. We need a badger and things for costumes and. Now we should get past them. Um. Not that I want my costume, but I need it for the, uh, the weapons, the bows and 
things like that. What's this? I don't know. It's like charger or something. What is it? Charger. Easy enough. Thick of the snow here. Oof. Uh oh, what's coming up here? Oh, there's a side quest off to the right there. Hmm. We village, Kina Rock. Uh. Take that on a little bit later. Let's concentrate on this Aaron first. There's that. Mark that. Badger. Right, Badger. Badger Bowen. It's a bit of a trip, but it's not that far. Uh. Shaman told me about. Oh All boy. down. And not natural either. Alright, let's get to this bit here. Run my way down. Do, uh, right. Find real part. They look like uh, that's not a metal bird, that's a blue gleam formation. What the hell's that? That's a, that's a scrapper, huh? Um, why didn't it say a scrapper there when I, <laughs> I looted it? That was weird. Uh, this. Kind of plain thing. I can't spare the weight.
something up there, looking like one of these, um... Is this a place for them? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's one of these, uh, pigment things. Could use my focus. See what it turns up. Animal figurines. Crikey, it's an animal figurine. Right. Um... Looks like I've got to get up there as well. Um... Flying machine. Hmm. What's up here? Uh. This must be the control for it. Could be something around that my focus will see. Configure it. Oh, well, at least these puzzles are a lot simpler than that puzzle I've just tried for far too long, quite frankly. Um, hold lock reset. an audio this time round. Not been too many of them. Right. Uh, surely this is a lot simpler than that puzzle I have just tried to puzzle out and can't. Right now anyway. Um, combo. Just right. Um. Okay. Down. And right. Much, much simpler. If only they could all be like as simple as that. <laughs> uh, if you got a nice and simple one, you know, following a quite simply put, uh, ridiculously hard one, you know. Leave it. This room. Nothing. Nope. Nothing here.
I understand, Mr. Blevins. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. Right. Miss Pines, Miss Pines, Dodd Blevins. Right now I'm looking at a security drone. It was requisitioned from Faro Automated Industries to serve the needs of the Firebreak project. It is, in fact, one of the entire fleet handpicked by me and allo allotted for our use by Ted Faro. Yes, the man so far above you on the ladder that he might as well be God, and I have a, a direct line to your father in heaven. Now you and I had a conversation in which I try to impart to you the sensitive nature of our project, and if I recall correctly, you said, I understand, Mr. Blevins, I took you at your word, which apparently was a flaw in my judgment. Since you have sent me a goddamn, me a goddamn fleet of flying CCTV cameras and a bunch of jerk-off eggheads who think they know more about protecting this country than I do. Now, your technicians are going to provide me with the firepower I need to prevent a major act of terrorism from occurring in our, around, my, in on, around my facilities. And they are going to do so without increasing our project budget, because, Ms Pines, this is your screw-up, and I am a reasonable man, but so help me. If you add another cent to Firebreak's balance sheet, I will see to it that you you personally answer to Mr. Faro and his board of directors. So I want you to call me back. I want you to leave me a message. I want that message to consist of four little words. Understand, Mr. Blevins. I understand, Mr. Blevins. And this time I want you to mean them. Okay. Right, yeah. Where's this going? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, is this the same plane I was in earlier on? No one's so. touched this machine since it got sealed in here. So no doubt I've got to move the plane up to here. If I can't get up. It looks like I can. Yeah, easy enough. Um so not anything over beside that plane though, I want to check. Need a lead. Focus might find something. There is. It's uh text one this one. Ban him. <laughs> To Kenny Chow from Harz Bonner, subject ban him. Kenny, I get it, okay, I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron, Blevin is Pharaoh's lapdog, circle of ass kissing, blah blah blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, the installation is going to take twice as long as we budge as we are budgeted budgeted for. And I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We're, we've just got done recal recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet. Kenny, why? I imagine you're wondering. Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behaviour routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. 
I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on a, an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviours which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically, outfitted these things for war. Think about that Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, Blevins can play army on Farbreak's dime. I'm begging you Kenny, find a way to bar him from the hangar, please, Harris. Okay. <clears throat> Anything behind it? Nope. Anything on it? Nope. Forget about traveling light. I was hoping that, you know, in this DLC, she'd maybe, they'd maybe uh, give her other things to say than the same things we had in the main game, you know? Some other phrases in there. Given there any new phrases. Uh, back up a go. Uh, yes, so. Uh, am I missing oh, something there? What's that? Find real part. Uh, have I missed it in the... It must be up here. Yeah, it's up here, I think. This where it was. Is this where it was earlier on? Um, might be, actually. Must have missed something. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back because I've missed something, obviously. Um, Should have brought a cart. Not there. Uh, this is puzzling. I don't know where. Puzzle that really isn't a puzzle. Um, and that brings, brings us back here. Um, I don't 
get it. Just this area here. I could check my focus, see what it sees. Right, let's do that. Aha, is that right there? Mounting rail. That's what I want. Right. Gather real part. Still needs a real part though. Mounting rail. Right. Um Examine mountain rail. Ah, I've got it. It's mountain rail special. Oh, you picked it Shouldn't up. Shouldn't be hard to remove. Oh, that's it there. Right. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Okay. That's it. Uh oh. Oh, oh, what have we got here? Got one of those. Get some, uh, shutdown gun. You haven't got a prayer, mate. Why do I keep calling... Why do I keep calling machines, mate? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Ah, oh, come on, eh? Just avoided the trap there, by And that's it. What happened to the metal birds that this guy goes on about? You know, there's, there's been none. Uh, weird. Okay, that's it. Let's get back up there. <coughs> right. So this thing will improve my spear. Talk to Kamut. Trader down there. Where's come out? Down here. Say that little col weird coloured pool, and there's a pigment there as well. We've got, I think, about five. Um, you know, before I started the last video, I started on the last, then before the last. I can't remember, but uh. I kind of um, bought about five fast travel packs. That's about three of them spent or four, not sure. Metal birds must have been the planes rather than birds itself, you know, metal fe feathered ones, you know. <laughs> I think you meant I think you meant the planes. Uh 
I was thinking of, you know, metal machinery, metal birds, that machinery birds, you know. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about planes at all. A woman now leads the Hunter's Lodge. What's next? A woman as king? Right, let's see. And down here. Let's keep my eyes peeled for a pigment thing. Well, these days, I'm gonna look in the face. It's a tall neck. I have, you know, tall neck I kind of brought back to life. Ooh, take that, thank you very much. I'll take that goat, thank you. Leave my goat bone. Oh, it's not, not giving me, uh, just giving me bony meat and rich meat. Rich meat's kind of cool, because I need that for fast travel. Um, I need it for my I need fox meat out for the, uh, the golden one, but I don't think they sell golden ones. Um, I've not seen one on a trader yet. Right, I'm looking for a pigment here. What is that? What is that? Yeah, it's a pigment. Let's look about for that blue. Purple, no purple triangle. Um, what's that? Badger. Diamond, not a triangle. Pigment. This will be for Sakura. Right. Light salt. Now these are required for. I can't remember now. The costumes or something? Is that coloured? Not weird. Sulfur. I think it's sulfur and something else there. I'm not sure, but. Uh, Comes out right. Uneven. There's this guy. Is this what you Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Find it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Uh, your Works spear right. has now has slots. Might as well get started improving my spear. Your spear now has slots for modification items. Ah, uh, I didn't get to read that because you have to start again because you were just talking away. Uh. Um oh, I still can't get that. One skill point required. 
Uh, uh, uh. Come on, give me. Oh, uh, no. Got nothing else. But yeah, I have got something else because I remember that, have made that village. And keep going with that. <laughs> Don't want to go back to that puzzle yet, you know. Got this video at least to try and get through, so. Um, I will not want to be going back to it until this video is finished. Um. Oh, the next one. See, there's a village there with a side quest, so, um. Yeah. I'll have to go to this one, which has got one of these control tower things. That one. Alright, let's try this. Uh, may as well. It's a matter of going in and overriding it, so. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Well, in, other, in other words, maybe. <laughs> where is it? It's up there, right. Up there, can get it. Is it? Come up there, right? Right, I don't know. I'm not bored. I'm not gonna hang around and find out. I'm just gonna. In the wrong way. through the village, which is there. The village doesn't have it marked, but there's a side, side quest there. What's going on? Uh, where is this one with the side quest? I guess. Oh, it's way up there. Go up here. 
Yeah, is it? Yeah. If Ikri's not coming back, she'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm the one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can no climb one. ice the fastest. You have passed one test. The next test is of silence. What's this village called? Kino's ro Rock. Right. Kino's Rock. Um. Okay, what's the side quest then? What are your hunters doing so far out here? We are of the White Teeth. Come down from the jawbone of Banur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights. Sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. You're from Banur. Do you know about Aratok and Area? Strong names, indeed. They have many songs. But there is a reason they roam out here, in the cut, and not among the great war acts. This obsession with Thunder's Drum will be their undoing. So who are the White Teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered always fighting we are well served eh shaman every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle every night a new name to honor in song aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters in time as months pass the meltwater often carries the bodies out <sighs> unbelievable if there's a chance they're alive then I'll look for them even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. We'll retake Stone You from the bandits before long. One challenge at a time. Survival is sacred. So they leave people to die. <laughs> okay, let's get... Get myself off this, uh... Shaman's path and onto this one. Survivor. Find the missing hunters. Hey. Over there. How many, um, let's see what, how many fast travels I've got left. Uh, just one. Alright, I'll have to get some more. Is 
there a trader here? Nope. Is there a trader fairly near? <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, there's one there. I mean there. Oh god, we've got the hunting grounds again. Not good. <laughs> I think I'll be doing them off camera, like I did with the 100% completion of the main game, because they just they take a long time. Um, so I'll have to get that little bit there on kind of um, covered with cloud. Might have to just go in there, you know. Maybe it just doesn't require, because it's just a small area, it probably just requires you going in rather than a tall neck. Um, yeah. So I get up to this trader here on the way. needing any more Ridgewood. Stop collecting it. In the main game it came to the point where I just I had too much of it and I had to get rid of it really because I needed I needed stuff for resources. Oh there's one of those things. Did I smash it down? I did these um that's another thing I did in my hundred percent completion off camera. I knocked down these um kind of dummies, these um Razor dummies, you know. Um, yeah. Right, the new champion bow. I can now get. Oh no, I can't. I need twelve, fourteen, and sixteen blue gleam, gleam for it. Hmm. We've got seven at the moment. What else has he got? Vanuk. There's the outfits. I still haven't got enough desert glass and stain slag shine glass for that. Blue gleam, 14 for that. So, yeah. I don't think... Are they going to be any use these outfits? Can they actually recharge like the... The one I've got on? And I just... Don't sit really. It's just a. Uh, that would look similar to the one I had in the sort of latter part of my kind of recorded completion of the the main game. Looks a bit similar to that, and that one. Yeah, uh, that's different. That's different. Don't particularly look like the. I don't particularly like the um. Thing over the mouth there. It doesn't really look... I mean, these look... That looks comfy. That one in the middle of the frozen wilds does not look comfy. <laughs> I mean, look at bare arms. Come on, that's... That's silly. I mean, come on, you're in the frozen wilds. If she wore something like that, she would... You know, die. Quick, freeze her arms off there, you know? You don't really think realistically at all, these people who make these games. They really don't. They just... They just go completely... I mean, logic is just completely out the window, you know? <laughs> they just haven't got any common sense. Um, uh, I need to get some fast travel packs. Uh, I've got rich meat. One, two, hmm. 
one, two. Can we get th three all together? Can I get some wire? Let's sell first. I've got a lot of stuff to sell here. That for one. Of wire enough, it's certainly more than enough actually on the uh, Ridgewood. Um, Okay, let's um, buy, buy some more blaze, because I need more blaze. Crazy stuff, so I'm not going to buy too much of it. Up to 20, that'll do. Okay. No space. Okay. Now let's make our way towards this next objective. Path. So they will ignore that and just climb up here hopefully, hopefully and uh, on with my a lance on. Scanning for me. Mm hmm, what's this? It's not one of those collectibles. It's a blue gleam formation. It's on a. It looks like a, char a dead charger. The only purple you see in a dead.